bucking, but that's because of the fact I don't have the Omni 4 bar sensor. So I'm pushing 23 pounds and sometimes likes to buck in the low RPMs, but it's usually when it's like a little cold, when it's not all the way at temp when I'm driving. But yeah, so it's, it's running great. I haven't had any issues. Uh, some things that need to be fixed, obviously you probably can hear the wheel bearing. I, need, I, I bought it, thought I could do it myself, don't have the right tools. So that'll get fixed sometime soon and uh, the next thing that's going to get fixed, maybe actually, that probably won't even get fixed first, probably I'm going to try to figure out what's wrong with my boost gauge because for some reason it's not reading any boost readings, it's just stuck at zero pounds. Like it, the lights on, it has power. It's just not reading any boost. Probably a boost line collapsed or something like that. I'm probably gonna figure out what's wrong with that. Figure out what, uh, how to wire up my oil pressure gauge. This tight turn. Ooh, that was a good heel toe right there. That was really good. But uh, yeah, figure out how to get that all wired up. And then I gotta fix my uh, exhaust leak. I finally found it. It's uh, right after the headers come around because they're on equal length. Comes around the left hand side, so this side of the car comes around, and then there's a flex pipe, and then there's a flange, and that flange has a broken gasket. So I need to get a new one of those. I have to drop the headers down to do that. Disconnect it from the up pipe. All this stuff. That's actually not that bad. That's like maybe a 30, 40 minute job. No, no, no problem with that. Eventually I'm going to buy some new rims for the car because these ones are trash now. They just have a bunch of curb rash on them and it's not from me, it's from the guy who drove it before me. So, yeah, that's uh, that's basically the update for this. It's um, running fine, no issues. Literally, I've started, okay, this is one thing that I was worried about when I, when I bought the car. Um, when I bought it, I was worried that, uh, not bought it, I'm sorry. When I got the tune done and it's on E85, I was worried about it starting up in the winter when it's super cold and stuff like that. But I've had days where it's been negative 15 degrees Fahrenheit uh, and I haven't had one issue with it starting up. It starts right up. It might roll over a little bit longer than it normally does. That's due because the battery's getting a little cold, so but it's never not started, which is awesome. So you can run E85 all year round, it's not a problem. So yeah, that's that's uh basically the update that's been going on with this thing. Uh no issues and uh yeah, it's great. Alright, I'll uh, catch you guys later.